Yeah, hey everyone, welcome. This is uh, my second Outward series that I'm doing with my other friend, Zachary, because um, as we were in the middle of preparing for the third episode of um, The Adventures of Merc and Argo, we realized that, oh, hey, yeah, I can't play with three people in this game because we're dumbasses and we never checked that before. So, uh, we're doing, I'm doing another series, which is less RP focused, and it's more kind of just like chill and play in a game through, and so in this playthrough, we'll kind of be like explaining things, how weapons work, or at least I will, um, to Zachary, how weapons work, different classes, um, like basically showing different areas, talking about them, quests and such. Um, whereas in the Adventures of Merc and Argo, it's almost entirely RP, where we don't really reference anything outside of our own characters for the majority of, or the entirety of the playthrough, actually. That's more in like a, um, a story setup. This is more of like a, we're just fucking chilling, playing the game or whatever. But, um, this is gonna be the Escapades of Lorgar, Titty, and Sabrab. Um, Zach's character was actually already primed. Greetings, friend. To, um, Lend me your ear. Asm is what I need. You'll know it if you um, find it. He was actually primed Perfect. in one episode Lend three. me your ear. So he actually, his character is, um, has more gear than mine does. Because we were basically going to introduce him. Zach, if you would like to explain your character's backstory. Fuck off. So Zach's By the way, I can't find the game. It's uh, Titty and Sabrov, so it's it's T I T Y, not T I T T Y. Oh. Capital T fuck? and capital S. So Zach's character was going to be like a knight who was disgruntled with the way that mages were mistreating his brethren who were non mages. And so he was going to go on a quest to combine the knight and mage classes by traveling to the ley line in um, this area so that he could unlock his magic potential. The game just lags super hard when you join Jesus. That's but what happened. Luckily for me, <laughs> I look so fabulous. Luckily for me, um, yeah, I'm this fog. we didn't have to go through that cringe fest. Oh, no. I'm just kidding. It was a pretty good story. I mean, it was actually a pretty good story. It's way better than Nick's character story in um, American Argo, at least the starting story. He can definitely reveal more about his character as we continue along with the series, but at its starting point, I like Zach's character story better. We were going to um, find him in like a bandit lair and then like he was going to join the party, and we were going to travel to the ley line together, and then we would unlock our magic. But, sadly, that was not to be. So, you'll have to watch the Adventures of American Argo to find out what happens in that series. But, currently, I'm, I'm just going to exit that, because Zach's not here to go to get my um, tribal favor so I can cleanse my broke place because I need to go do that Zach so you could head over to the uh, door down here so you can head over uh, give me a second. yeah but I'm not editing these series um if you guys right. think that I should you can leave a comment because it's it's more of a let's play and most let's plays I have watched over no, the years I'm haven't not. been edited there I mean there's certainly cuts I mean I'm cutting stuff so it's not like like some super long parts without any sort of dialogue, you know, that's cut. Um, but usually, like, I keep most of it in because it is a let's play. So it's not, there's a lot of stuff here that I wouldn't want to really cut out of, like a regular game, uh, regular playthrough. God, your character looks stupid as fuck. No, I look beautiful. Um... Because like usually, and he smells bad. If I if I play like a let's play, I'm not gonna cut out a lot of the story. I like to keep that in. I mean, obviously, it's gonna lead to like longer videos. Like the videos are like around 40 minutes, but it's not as if there's any point where nothing's happening. Like those parts are all cut out. 
Like, the parts where, like, absolutely nothing is happening, it's, the story's not really progressing, we're kind of just sitting around doing nothing, that's all cut out. The stuff that's not cut out is us, like, traveling places. Because I assume that people who, you know, watch Outward, they would appreciate, like, the travel and the world, and how the game looks, and the weather mechanics, because that's the beauty of not having the fast travel in it, is so you can enjoy the world around you, so the world can affect your character. And, um, all that good stuff. Zach, I'm, uh, I'm currently by the door. If you want to head over. Hi, hi. Come on. Yeah. Oh, also, you know what I know? You guys want to know what happened that really, that really pissed me the fuck off? When I was looking up if, if Outward was only two-player co-op, the only thing, the, one of the things that came up with the top search was, is Outward co-op, is a review of Outward calling it a completely terrible game that does nothing to the players, so the player base should not buy the game or give any love to the devs because the, the co-op is terrible and the gameplay is clunky, which I've explained in one of my other videos, but it wasn't very specific, and it was more like a, just a long me being angry for 40 minutes because I read some shit reviews on Steam when I tried to look up about the new Three Brothers DLC which I am fucking excited about. Um, in Merc and Argo, we're probably going to buy the Sorborians. Um, but honestly, this might be the um, the series that you see the new classes on, if Zach does get the DLC, because um, we're going to have more established characters in Merc and Argo, and I have no idea if you can switch your classes in the new, uh, in the new like, area. So... Don't know if I can switch to a hex mage. If I could, I might, because hex mage sounds amazing. Speedster sounds kind of broken, um, in like a certain sense. Like if you build it in a really cheesy way, I'm sure it's super strong. But we'll see when we get there. I'm gonna put that on so you can't see my disgusting hair. Oh, I mean my beautiful hair. Sorry. Ugly. One second. Ugly ass hair. I'm just gonna put a torch in because I'm a low level, so I don't have anything. Yeah, so Zach has a bit better gear than I do, but never fear. He's pretty new to Outward. He actually just got it for the first time. I think yesterday or today. I think it was today. Yesterday. Yeah, he got it for the first time yesterday. We played a little bit. We kind of caught him up to it. So he's, he's not, like, super experienced. He doesn't know the good items, like, late game stuff. You know, I don't, I'm gonna be real, I don't know a lot of late game stuff either. Because I played late game, but I never got, like, super in-game shit. Like, I know there's obviously people who played more hours on this game than I have, but... You know, that's... The, the only reason that series was halted was because, um... Nick, the person who I'm playing, um... The Avengers of American Argo with... I decided to. Well, he was basically Iron Busy, and he kind of had to just go. Are you searching my backpack? Oh, I was your fucking. Whoops. Put it back down. Really? You were stealing shit from my bag? I was trying to loot the fucker right here. Yeah, so. Zach, obviously. You know, he's not the most. Uh... Shut up, bitch. <laughs> adapt it as identifying things in this game, but that's fine. Um, we'll probably just head out. I'm gonna put some stuff in my bag. Oh, I don't know why I picked this up. I'm gonna drop this, because these two things, because that's not good, so whatever. It's not like it's gonna yeah, be. I gotta pick up the shrimp. Oh, did you drop the shrimp? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Oh, I needed all this. Thank you. <laughs> that's like the good shit I just got. I was like, wait. <laughs> I thought you had put it back into the bag. I didn't know you dropped it on the ground. I don't know how to do that. Well, let's head out and get my tribal writ. I know I should in the rant video, but I check my analytics, and typically not a lot of people watch to that point in the video because it's pretty far in, and I honestly said most of my points, and this was kind of just... I mean, there was there were more points after this section, but this was kind of section in the middle where I kind, of, up, bitch. I kind of went off course, so I decided that, I guess, I mean, this is how you get the tribal, the tribal favor. I mean, most people know this at this point. I mean, we're two DLCs in, you know, but, you know, I just, I, I, I would very much like 
that for people to give outward more support, especially since the new DLC is coming out, because every time I look up anything regarding this game, I know there's a lot, a lot of positive reviews on Outward, like on Steam and such. But if you just look it up straight away on Google, the amount of review, bad reviews that this game gets for like oh, the Tyler, what's that thing? That's the don't don't fight that. No, 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 no. Why? That's a lightning Why? shrimp that can kill you. I mean, I guess we can fight it, but it doesn't we drop. It? Yeah, it doesn't drop anything. I mean, super mate, you're gonna want to dodge that. It also has a lot of health because it's armored. So look, I'm bashing it. Yeah. So I mean, the amount of shit that pops up when you search this game on Google about the game being shit, the combat being clunky, like guys. The game is amazing, and I fucking hate these reviews. Oh, by the way, yeah, it, it, it's magic. It's... Let me just go up and smack the room. So it's dead. It has a, insects up. It doesn't really have anything good, to be honest. They're just pretty hard enemies. I mean, they're much, they're much harder in, uh... In, like, base game. Other than co out. By the way, do you have any bandages? Because you're going to have to give one of those guys because I don't have any linen on me to craft uh, one. Okay. Yeah, just give this guy a bandage. You know, it's kind of just like uh, a lot of these reviews are, one, they're severely outdated. Like, all the reviews Please. that pop up on Google when you look up in this game. I, I gave him a linen, right? You know, you give him a bandage. Or a fucking bandage, yeah. yeah you give him a bandage. Come. You have to press two. I it can't gives move. An a pistol shrimp. I can't. Here we go. I can feel it working. I did it. Uh, By the way, the other shrimp bunch. is attacking Ow. me. It's currently nah, killing me. I don't think I'm fit to run. I'll try to distract it. So that we can. But, like, this combat is not clunky. It's very Dark Souls esque. I really like it. I mean, it's obviously not, like,. Amazingly, it's polished as Dark Souls, but it's not as big of a studio either, let's be real. But the, the combat in and of itself is super fun. I mean, it's kind of slow-paced, but it's really fun. Super enjoy it. The combos late game are amazing, fun, cool. This game, is, like, combat and class system is honestly, like, I love it so much. It's so cool. Dude, the people who are like, oh, I don't like Outward, oh, bruh. All these people. It's like, if, you, if they had, like, a, a legitimate reason that, like, sounded all right, like, like saying something like, yeah, fast travel is a pretty big deal to me because I can only really play the game casually and not being able to go, like, to locations quickly is, like, a detriment to me. But, like, most of the shit I see is, oh, fucking, there are no map icons and I'm too inept to be able to use my fucking brain to locate myself on a map by looking around me. Like, boom. Look at the map. We're right here. This is exactly where we are. Right there. Ooh, wow. We're actually probably like a little bit farther up. But we're still right there. It's easy to tell where you are. It's not that hard. Dumb complaints. But I'm not going to keep talking about this because I already have a whole other video on it. So I'm here to have fun with Zacky because we recommended the game to him thinking that he could play with us, and it turns out he couldn't, and I don't want him to have to play this game all by himself. Plus, you know, the game's fun enough to where I would le legitimately have fun doing two different types of playthroughs on it. You know? It's just a fun game. Especially if I'm trying to build that Zar armor. One of those in-game items that requires me to use cool legacy chests in order to, uh... Craft it to get all the components on one character. Might do that. Honestly, might do that. Especially if I, I'm gonna have to make a new character to do the new DLCs because I haven't played Sword Warriors yet just because my friend hasn't been able to play Outward. And, you know, Outward's a, I, Outward's a fun game. No, I don't have it currently. I'm, the, the reason I haven't bought it, not you, I'm, it's because Nick didn't play. Because if we would have beat the main campaign. Um, or the Holy Order that we joined in our first playthrough, then I would have probably gone on to buy the Sorborians if he did. But at the time, he just kind of ghosted and 
<laughs> uh, no, like, I'm not even joking. He legit just left. Good. Good job, Nikki. So, I was just kind of... There was, there was just trap like stuff in the supply crate that I took, because that's what I'm, I kind of want to do some of that in this playthrough as well. Because uh. I'm doing pure physical. But, like, he kind of just... Uh, we kind of just... He kind of just stopped playing outward with me at that point, and... I couldn't really play it by myself because I didn't. I couldn't bring myself to try to ruin the playthrough because we had invested a lot of time in it, and the quest in this game are timed, so I didn't want to get on and then timed? fail the quest. Yeah, so time passes in Outward, and all the quests. I mean, not all the quests are timed, but a lot of the main story quests. If they if they say something in dialogue about there being like only a few days left, that means if a few days passes, then the quest then. The quest might fail if you don't do it. That's why dying in this game is a lot harsher than just you losing some silver and waking up in a random location. You know? Like, you can legitimately fail quests because of it. And there's no real way to go back. I mean, unless you have done some shady shit and you've gone into the... Um, core components of Outward, and then you extract your save files from the game code. Or the game files. The game, code. The game files. You can go into your game files and do some shit where you can find your save data and then reload the save, but I'm too lazy to do all that, so if I fail a quest, I'm gonna deal with it. Okay. That's my bad. I'm gonna live with the consequences. I need to sell stuff to him because. Greetings, friend! I need to, uh, buy the, um, shit from, uh, buy the bag or something, whatever, the backpack. Okay. Dude. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do this game? What? I'm gonna be, I'm not gonna be pure physical. Fuck you. Um, pure physical. No, no, no. I'm just gonna be a ranged ice mage. That's what, it's, that's what I'm going to be. Can't bring myself to get away from magic in this game. It's so much fun. Oh, it's just so it's much fun. So cool, Tyler. Dude, it's... It's so much fun. I'm not going to do rune magic, though. I'm going to do... Um, obviously, I'm going to do rogue. So I can get the frozen bullet. Because I'm going to do range, so I want pistols. And then I'm going to do... Is there something you need? Then I'm going to do... Uh, What's it called? Fuck, can't remember. I'm gonna do philosopher. I'm gonna do rogue, engineer, philosopher, and maybe shaman. Probably not. Oh, I gotta go talk to her to get my house back, basically, and then we'll head out. And then I'll pick up the quest for the mushroom cave. Why? Well, because we're gonna do the mushroom cave. It's, it's basically 100 free silver, and then you get items in there. Oh. I thought you said you weren't going to do the mushroom cave. I was gonna do the mushroom cave when we joined your world, but we and I joined my world because... I kind of just felt like Greetings. It, it would be How that fun to watch efforts? if it was just me and you, like, going out and doing your world. You have a way to make that, and don't... Well, only a... Only a... <gasps> a blood... This is on... <sighs> Come back once you've said your goodbyes to them. Yeah, basically, your best friend and her daughter are leaving for the Holy Alliance in the Free City because they hate her archaic ways of My... blood prices. Repeat that? Um, your best friend and the chieftain's daughter are going to the Holy Alliance and the, like, free city. I thought you said our daughter. No, 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 the chieftain's daughter. Chieftain's daughter. That's basically what she said. You cleanse your blood price, you, blah, blood price, so you get your house back, but they're leaving. So I'm just gonna go talk to them real quick before we leave, just skip through the dialogue. Um, if you guys want more story elements... Watch the other playthrough, that's what that is. 
I guess this almost excellent. I won once in the marsh. Really Follow like... the pilgrim road. I'm I'd honestly be like doing it in a different way. If so, what do you I think you want to join? We're obviously not. Retirement. Ah, uh, me? Are you asking me? Like what? Okay, do you want to join the courage to face the Amazon desert? The, the oh, desert free faction where your best friend is? Or do you want to join the Holy know. Alliance faction where the other one went? Tell me about these factions and I'll decide. Basically, um, the people who pick this faction that we're currently in, I don't know anything about it. I just know that I wouldn't want to stay here and be in this faction. Um. So, there are the other two factions. One's like in the desert, which is pretty far away. And... I don't care. Just tell me what what they're about. Yeah, that's what I'm, t I'm telling you. So, the free but city. You repeated that they were in the desert. The yeah, no, time. one's in the desert. That's the. It's, I get it, Tyler. It's shit in the desert, bro. The desert's shit. It's a hard place to survive. But it, that one's more like a free city where people can be whatever they want to be. And... Oh, yeah, there's there, you can find some of those out there. In my game, this one. I saw one out in the, I saw one out in the wild one time, and it fucking like butchered me almost instantly. Oh, anyways, back to the desert people. Don't say they're they're from the desert. Or the fuck. So it's like a free Greetings, city friend. basically, where you can kind of control your own future, be whatever you want to be, type of thing. And um, I mean that's basically just what it is. What about the Holy Alliance? The Holy right? Alliance is more of like they have a god elit who is actually like i don't know if he's a real god because i like me and nick played in the holy faction but he seems kind of sus like the whole his whole like aesthetic seems like like are you i think it's like set up in a way where you're supposed to be questioning like are you really a god you know that type of thing okay and uh... okay then we're gonna we're going to the mushroom cave and so their their quest is more about um i mean there's some fucking evil people in the game i'm pretty sure they're doing some shady shit between the, uh, some of the kingdoms where does the chieftain's daughter go she goes to the holy alliance okay who's my best friend your best friend is the dude with the pink snazzy outfit and the giant sword oh that guy he has a cool ass sword he does have a cool-ass sword, but... I mean, the desert's cool. It's, like, it was a fun... Me and Nick had a fun time playing there. It's just that, like... What? It's kind of whatever. Okay, Tyler, I've decided. We're following the Chieftain's daughter. We're going to the Holy Alliance? Yeah. Gotta Get follow me. that puss. Oh, yeah. That's the only reason we're doing it, and not the fact that the Holy Alliance is fun because you get to play as a religious zealot and murder heretics. That's the reason I'm doing it. Wow. That sounds fun. Alright, you say that. No, oh, let me get the oil. Motherfucker. Right, get the oil. <laughs> I need it. Yeah. I need to loot this body because I'm pretty sure sometimes it spawns with a one-handed sword and that's better than the shitty um, machete I'm using. So. Why don't you just use the harpoon? Because I want to... machete I'm, but with longer reach. I mean, I just don't want to use a two-handed weapon. I'm Because I want to use daggers. No, not daggers. I want to use pistol, so I want an offhand open. Because I'm eventually going to be just using, like, a book for spells as in my offhand. So I want to practice with one-handed weapons. I don't want to get used to, like, a two-handed weapon and then have to, like, switch eventually. I was still thinking I was going to do a mercenary class, but whatever. Okay. There's, like, some potions. So you can take that shield if you want. I don't want it. Oh, yeah, yeah you're... You're using two handed weapons for. For like, now. For now, for. You're, we're gonna go to the way line after this, probably. What? Well, no, we'll, we'll, we'll explore some. We're gonna have more missed areas before we get to the way line. We'll probably do this and then. What the fuck? I mean, oh, honestly, we might not do the bandit stronghold. Why not? Because, I mean. They're already going to see us do that on Nick's channel. 
and it's not super eventful. It's not oh, super interesting. Sure. I need area. That and there's also not like a whole lot going on there. But if they want to watch two different series on Outward, they can. It's going to be up there. And then uh, we're going to. I'm going to be releasing a series on Valhalla and Cyberpunk when they come out. No, you're not. When does Valhalla come out? It comes out in like a couple days, right? I don't know. Chit chit. Cold Stone, Alchemy Kit, Astral Potions. Let's see if these triple are checked. Oh, easy. Oh, I'm gonna die. What? Oh, he like- I think he hit me actually. Oh yeah, he did. They both hit me just now. Get shit on, Trilodite. Trilodite scum. Hit, hit the shield. I'm taking it. No, no, I need it for my keys. What if I take it? Fuck it, and I just become an ice spell sword user. <laughs> yeah, my, uh, it's just a. I think there's so many different options you choose from, and I kind of just want to do something fun. I block with my shield, I don't get to do anything. Stay in the corner. Well, let me do some water. Um, gather some at least. Um, yeah, I accidentally picked up a, a trolley train. Yeah, you're gonna need to back off, buddy. Drop your bag. Fuck! Trolley's behind you. Yeah, I know. You see, I don't understand people who complain about blocking. Like, if you're really gung ho about blocking, just fucking use a shield. It's faster. The block comes up faster. But if you're just using a weapon, your shit's not gonna like be able to come up as fast. It's just how it works. You're talking to me? No, I'm just talking, like generally speaking. Generally speaking. Dude, again, I'm not making that mistake again. I was just, it was like super late at night, there was a hurricane going on, so I was afraid the, um... Power? The power was gonna cut out. But I was just like, I was just kind of like, angry about the review I read, and I was just like, man, I gotta talk about this shit. Don't pick up that opal, because it's a unique item from the world, yeah. So I wanna get it. I'm gonna save it this time, uh, I'm gonna bring it to the Giants Village instead of selling it to the, uh, person. What the fuck, T? It's because the Giants Village is where the holy mission is, so, since we're going that way. Well, why the fuck did I sell it here? It's, I think it sells for, like, maybe a couple silver more at the Giants Village. It, it either sells for a couple silver more or it triggers a quest. I don't know, because the last time that I did this, I, like, was in the Giants Village, gave them the opal, the heart opal or whatever. I logged off with Nick in that area, and when I came back, I was dead. So I don't know if the Giants <laughs> murdered me while I was in their city because I had a heart of one of their kind or something, or if it was just like a glitch. I don't understand what happened. Deserved. Yes, me. Man, I'm just a peaceful, peaceful person. You know, I kill if I must, which is usually, because things are just mean. Are you fighting something? Yes. Are you fighting someone as well? Because 
Because the, the other class that I did when I played this game was a spell sword, but I did fire and rune magic. But this time I'm probably going to focus on, like, mercenary skills or something. Am I getting hit, or do I just not have a bandage? I feel like I just don't have a bandage, because I don't know if my health is going down. If, like, I, I feel older, my health is just lower. Or if, you know... Oh, what? You need to kill the mage as well. Are you doing? I'm fighting the mage yeah. right now. I went the other way. Where the chest is. Struggling over here because I have no stamina. Yeah, you gotta let it regen sometimes. But, dude, like, mm. I'm coming over. I was about to complain about people complaining about this game, but then I realized that I, I died. I realized you said I was going to stop complaining about people complaining about this game, so I decided to just hold my anger in. I'm coming. I'm like right there, so I'll be over behind you. Are you in the room? You can heal. I know. Which is why you, you it's why you kinda just spam him. But the traplinates get to be harder enemies later in the game. When you, you have a lot of different variants. And look at this Look at this straight. Look at this six straight. Look at this clunky combat, dude. I'm getting hit because I'm, I'm so clunky and overburdened. No. Because it's smooth. It's smooth combat, and I can just kite shit. You can pick up my bag back here. Where's my bag? Oh, oh here. Let's see what's in this chest. We'll take that ice rag, and there's a stealth potion recipe that I'll take. I'll take one of the, um... Unless I'm, I'm just gonna eat the fucking blood mushroom. What the fuck, Tyler? I accidentally press use instead of take. And the yeah. stone. God, you're so stupid! Bullshit. Oh, it's it's a curse I've been left with ever since I was a young lad. The curse of stupid. Man, I don't have any linen. Actually, I should probably take some of the, some clothes I find and dismantle them so I can get some linen to make bandages. But I haven't been doing that. I kind of just left them. You don't need bandages. Well, we're heading out anyway, so it should be okay. We're heading back to the city. Probably gonna sleep while we're there as well. Yeah, my shit's all burned and fuck. Like, man, this game is disappointing. And I mean, I get that Outward isn't. Outward, well, actually, I was about to say I get that Outward isn't like a complete treasure trove of content, but it actually has a lot of stuff you can do. So I'm gonna take that back. I feel like people give up on the game way too soon or something. Come on. It's so fun. Where did you go, Zach? You went the wrong way. Zach. Did I? Yeah. What other way is there? The uh, way to the entrance. You went further in. Oh. I was really waiting by the exit. I'll take the round shield just so that I can, uh... So that I can keep it. I'm probably gonna keep the shield, by the way. 
in, instead of giving it to the lady because it does poison Why? on shield charge. So I'm gonna probably I'm gonna try to save up enough silver to buy the shield charge from the spell blades before we leave. Since we're probably not going to be doing the the bandit camp by the co by the um in the north at least on cam. Um, then probably gonna go do the one by the south. So we'll run over there in a little bit. We'll be traveling along the outside of the mountain. By the way, there are different places you could enter the mountain, and each one is like a different difficulty type of thing. Yeah. So if you, I think if you enter on the bottom, it's the hardest. Oops, I actually dropped my bag. Thanks for the bag. I think if you travel on the bottom level, it's the hardest, but you get like an NPC to help you. And the only reason I don't want to do that is because the NPC can die, and I want him for something later. How do I uh, put silver in my lantern? That's silver. Uh, the fucking oh, oil. oil. So you go to your crafting and you put an, a thick oil and a lantern in there and it refills it. Okay, the bandits killed the birds, so I'm pretty sure they're weak. This one's not, but so I'll take him. Because I have a shield, you can take the weak one. Traded blows. I have no, no stamina. Oop, I actually opened up my steam overlay. <laughs> Thank you, Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna drag him over and then I'm gonna revive you. Because I have no health, so we're gonna need to trade aggro on him. So we don't have to, but it's just easier. Okay. Yeah, there are also people complaining about aggro trading co-op. Like, name a game where you don't fucking do that. Like, let's be real. We're being completely honest with ourselves. Like, even in Dark Souls, you aggro trade with bosses. It's just more subtle. I need this linen to make bandages. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's having this on linen. I'm gonna pick up my bag. Let's go loot this bird, see if it dropped anything good. Because the um the birds of this game do drop a special item. I've never gotten it because I haven't sat through and killed a bunch of birds to try to get it. But you can if you really want to. It's a rare item drop. I think it says a low percentage chat. I think it's boots that make you like quick. Which what I assume is good for the speedster class. Since that is the Sorborian deal uh, DLC class that lets you do more damage based on alertness levels and speed with sprint attacks. Seems pretty cool. Well, let's be real. Hex Mage sounds a lot cooler. It's blood magic. Yummy. And I can't no, wait to dive into the, uh, the classes that they released with the um, Three Brothers. Because I, I, know, I know they're doing um, city building. Wait, really? Yeah. Gotta sleep. Gotta sleep over before you sleep. I'm gonna go cook in the basement. Are you just cooking in the basement? Yeah, there's a kitchen down here. Oh. That type of cooking. I'm upset. Why are you upsetty spaghetti? Would you just take your pizza for the Damn. Should have said that to gave me some random recipe, I believe. I don't know what the fuck it is. 
How long are we sleep at four? Um, I'm probably just morning, right? Waiting for others. Uh, let me sleep till like this, so it's eight hours. So it's like uh, we get a good amount of health, and then also it's bright outside. Should be good. 